Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's important. I think a lot of times, you know, notice I didn't use the word data governance. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I like to use the word data readiness because no matter what you do, even if it, no matter what that project is, it's data readiness is more important and that kind of leads to data governance. So I'll give you an example. You can go and buy scuba diving equipment. You can buy the best scuba dive equipment in the world, right? You can go out and that's your, that's your, that's, you know, your warehouse. You can go out and buy the best data warehouse or data lake or cloud um, technology or, or uh, BI reporting in the planet. That's easy, right? Yeah, sure, I'm gonna buy all this great stuff, okay? And then I can go, I say the same with scuba diving. I know exactly where I'm gonna go, I'm going in the ocean. I'm gonna go scuba dive in the ocean. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna buy the best boat in the world. It's gonna take me there, like my ETL, my data integration. I can go really fast out to the ocean. So that's my data integration. And then I have this big ocean, which is the, my data, right? I'm going in, going in with my data. And I'm ready to go in. And now you look, now you can probably agree with me, a lot of customers, in the past, data management companies are all too quick to sell folks or provide them with everything they need to drown themselves. Mm. <laughs> right? Uh, hey, yeah. Oh, have fun. Here you go. Here you got the best thing in the world. There's nobody that's going to help them. Hey, wait a minute. Before you turn that on, before you jump in that water, you got to turn your air on. Like, oh, all right. That's your data. That's your readiness. Is your data ready? to jump into that big pool. Is that data ready to get that big pool, that data warehouse? So you gotta be able to examine your data readiness. And part of that is a catalog of quality and profile, all these things that go to a governance, they call it governance solution, but I say ready. Is it ready? What's its content, its quality and structure? And what does it mean, all right? Once you have that in the catalog, then you can assess if you're ready to go forward with this project, right? So, I mean, it goes back to that. You've heard the term code load and explode, right? Have you heard that one a million times? Yeah. Code load yeah. and explode, it hasn't changed. So what do we do? We, you know, we sell them ETL stuff, they code it, they load it up. And as it blows up, they change processes and, you know, and they get it to work and they say they think they're successful. Well, if you, if you assess your data readiness before you even start, you know exactly where everything is, you know what's in there, you know what data redundancy is, you can save, you can save millions of dollars on cloud uh, infrastructure if you're only moving the stuff you really need, if you don't need, you don't move the job, right? So that data readiness to me is more important uh, than overall, you know, data governance, everybody knows you need it now, it's, kind of, it's more of a mature term, but data readiness, a lot of folks struggle with that because they, like I said, a lot of customers don't think they need technology to let them know that they're they're ready because they they get scared when they hear the word data governance they think it's oh data governance that means i need a i need a committee i need policies i need people no 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 that's data readiness right going back to the three find trust and use it whatever you need to be ready to be able to find trust and use your data for your project that's what's most that to me it's far more important than all the other things yeah, and Steve, I totally agree. Data readiness. It's funny you say that because I had prior guests, a data engineer, I had a scrum master, a BI uh, intelligent architect, and a predictive analytics um, as well developer. And they all mentioned the most difficult part is understanding, making sure, getting ready for that project, understanding the data, right? Mm -hmm. Where is it coming from? How is it going to really fit your goals and needs? So I, I love your, uh, I love that data readiness rather than governance where everybody's running away thinking it needs everything. Data ready. I'm, I'm taking that from you like I always do. I take everything. You have good value. <laughs> yeah, I think it's true because you, you see it. I, I didn't come up with it um, just out of the blue. It was because a lot of the times we tend to want to talk to the keepers of the data you know, the, the analysts and the, uh, the, I'm sorry, the developers and the operations guy, we, we kind of have to pivot to, because I like the way you said, I talk to the people who are actually using it. Whenever I get involved with this, with, with a customer, I don't really care about the DBAs and the ETL developers and all that stuff. They're just mechanics, right? They're really, they're focused on getting it someplace quickly. That's all they need to do, right? Which is great. It's, 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 it's hard. It's a very difficult to do. However, who are, the, who are the people you're serving, right? Those are the folks. And they use that word all the time. And I just came up with like, so data readiness is really what you're trying to 
before you start like, yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense because governance, govern, data governance implies more guardrails where data readiness means like, okay, what's my, what's the manual? Where, where, what do I need to do? And did I check these boxes? Yes, now I'm ready to go. Um, 